Hey guys and welcome to Scuba Travel and Adventure. My name is Thomas. Today I decided to go for a ride. I'm not even sure where I'm going yet. I'm just heading out wherever. Yesterday I worked on my bike. I put on brand new tires on and that's another set of uh, GPS uh, tractionators by Moto Z. Uh, I did change the front and back. I will have the video out of that pretty soon. How to change the tire, the only bummer is that uh, my neighbor showed up and uh, we started talking and I forgot to click the record button on the camera when I was taking off the tire. That's a bit of a bummer, but it is what it is. Anyways, uh, going back to those tires, I thought I gonna change them after an adventure that is planned uh, for September 23. But uh, I figure before I head out, I better change them now. This way I have a peace of mind, even though there was still quite a bit of uh, thread life left on those uh, tires. Starters, those tires came on my bike first after I I finished the OEM tires, uh, the Dunlops, which uh, most of you hate, uh, but I figure I'm not going to change them until I just finish them. So anyway, so I had the Dunlops for about nine, nine and a half, nine and a half thousand uh, kilometers. And I gotta say they did not perform bad on the road and uh, the mild gravel as well, there was no issue. Uh, but. Uh, I started doing more trail riding, or I shouldn't call it trail, maybe gravel riding and a little bit of off-road, and they put, they sucked. So I decided to go with my first set of uh, Moto Z uh, GPS tractionators, and those tires I cannot find any faults on them. They performed really well in all kinds of conditions. And that's starting with uh, quite a bit of time riding in the rain when I was in British Columbia and uh, last year when I uh, was heading out to uh, Utah. Uh, dry pavement, performance amazing, uh, cornering uh, amazing, and gravel and dirt, I had no issue. I did not test them in the mud. Uh, I wasn't able to ride in the, ride in the mud. Uh, there was no mud anywhere I went. And after all, we had a pretty dry summer. And even when it was raining in the mountains, when we went off-road, it was dry, which is uh, weird, but that's the reality. So going now over the GPS tractionators, uh, I have put on those tires. Uh, 17 and a half thousand kilometers that's almost 18,000 to be honest and uh, when I took them off I still had uh, between one and two well I would say probably closer to two millimeters uh, thre uh, thread life on them so I would say they would be still good to go for another uh, thousand maybe even uh, two and a half thousand k kilometers. But anyways, I pulled the trigger and I bought uh, an another set of GPS tractionators. Now uh, I'm debating whether I should, in the future, whether I should go again with the tractionators, GPS, or tractionators adventure. I have to do a little bit more research on that. Um, I'm not sure what kind of a life uh, span is on the adventure ones. But I tell you one thing, if you want a decent set of tires, especially on Africa Twin, uh, and just to mention that uh, I ride uh, mostly fully loaded. So I do have my panniers on, my uh, rear box, uh, and I do carry my gear in uh, with me, like uh, including tools. I would imagine if I did not have the uh, loaded uh, motorcycle, those tires would perform even much better and you would get probably even much better uh, mileage out of them so yesterday like i said i did change them again and i will make the video how to change the rear tire uh, you can find on my channel uh, how to change the front tire and i link it uh, just on a card on top so if you want to have a look on that uh, video you're very welcome 
and the rear tire is gonna have some missing part unfortunately since I forgot to click that uh, record button sucks but what can you do lesson learned don't talk and record videos <laughs> Another thing what I've done yesterday, I installed a ROX front fender riser. Uh, that item I looked up uh, on uh, online, it's uh, listed for about 50 bucks. Uh, you don't need to spend a big money to raise your fender. And uh, it's, uh, it's got almost uh, three inches of clearance now uh, with those uh, GPS tractionary tires on. So no more if you are riding uh, in a mud, uh, like I said, you don't need to invest big ADV Camel uh, fender riser, which is uh, nice. I like it, but uh, that comes at way higher cost. You can just go simply with that uh, rocks fender riser and uh, it will do job a good job as well it's a pretty simple install basically you just got four parts uh, in a bag and a couple screws uh, a little bit of a headache uh, what to do with those lines once you remove the hose retainer but uh, i will link the video on top uh, on the video card as well so i try to film it I'm not sure how is that going to come out because i when I was filming uh, late afternoon, uh, the sun was uh, shining pretty, pretty hard uh, in the garage. So I think that some of the footage might be slightly overexposed. But I'll see what we can do with that. There's always editing and you can always tweak it up a little bit at least, right? So yeah, so like I said, four parts and it's a pretty simple install and it uh, looks slightly better now since that fender is lifted. So you have a little bit more play in there. So I just got into the town of uh, Okotox, that's uh, just a couple kilometers south of Calgary. And uh, I will get through here and uh, head a little bit southwest from here. I just uh, put the bike together yesterday and I want to, you know, put new tires, give it a test, how everything works again. And if I find a nice area, I will do some drone video to attach the uh, wrong turn I think I took I think we can cross it over here should get me across them all this is where I'm supposed to turn and that's the dealership where I bought my truck so one thing that I hate on the Africa Twin and uh, that drives me just nuts uh, hit the bike at the dealership on multiple occasions and I asked them about it they say normal and a lot of you are experiencing the same problem uh, that front bounce about 40 kilometers per hour when you travel uh, that's annoying as hell um, and the tire the rim I should say is uh, balanced and uh, even though I did static balancing at home I I thought that it's still balancing because maybe since I was doing at home I messed it up unfortunately I took the tire off again and I took it to my local uh, Rocky Mountain uh, dealership they rebalanced it and uh, it's the same so and uh, actually before I took it in I removed uh, the weights uh, that I had placed originally and guess what the weights were installed exactly in the same location uh, where I had them and there's no way that you would have known uh, where the weights were because uh, I cleaned off the surface uh, from all the tape and there's no discoloration on the rim either because uh, I used the stick on weight. They rebalanced it and uh, the wobble is still there but uh, at the same time uh, Rocky Mountain Honda here in Calgary or Rocky, Rocky Mountain Powerhouse uh, this is my go-to dealership uh, they are amazing uh, big shout out to Rob, Rob at uh, parts co uh, counter uh, he always goes extra mile to help me out uh, with all my parts uh, always gives me excellent pricing uh, treats me very well and so are all the other guys uh, at this dealership uh, they are uh, 
I'm pretty happy actually when I go there. They, they treat me like uh, family. I always have a nice chit chat with them. And uh, I really like this dealership. Uh, they, they, they can find for me anything I look for. Even if I find it online, they always uh, match up the pricing for me or sometimes even do a better pricing, which is uh, very unheard of. Uh, yeah, so those guys are awesome. The only thing with uh, service, I do most uh, most of my work myself on this bike. Uh, I do have uh, purchased extended warranty on my 2017 Africa Twin. As long as I can fix it, I, I prefer to fix it myself. And uh, I love doing that and having fun with it. I do have a little bit of knowledge, uh, mechanical and simple thing I can fix. Uh, I will be tackling probably the valve job uh, this way over the winter when the riding season is gonna get over. I'm, uh, I'm due for that. Uh, so it's gonna be time to do the valves on this bike. I don't think there's gonna be major issues because uh, normally when you uh, when you have to work on uh, valves and uh, if they would be out of whack you would hear them uh, especially like maybe not wearing a helmet but uh, if you start up the bike and sometimes I do ride in the back alley uh, giving a short rides uh, to my eight year old you would definitely hear some uh, clicking so the bike uh, so far performs really well the only problem I had with my bike since I bought it, uh, my headlamp uh, went uh, bunker. It burned out, uh, believe it or not, uh, after just a few months uh, it burned out. But uh, with a little bit of talk uh, to my dealership here, the Rocky Mountain Powerhouse, they were able to fix that for me under uh, warranty. Even though it is uh, electronic part, but uh, they were able to take care of that for me and uh, uh, they installed a new unit. Uh, guess what, if you ever have to replace that headlamp, uh, you don't want to. Uh, that's, uh, uh, that's over $2,000 uh, Canadian. It's crazy, but, uh, but it's real. Mm -hmm.